Hello everyone, are you ready for another adventure? It's me, Wookie, and I'm here today to talk to you about the version update. Uh, this version update, it's got some interesting things. I can tell you that right now. Uh, some interesting things to go through. I'm going to talk about it, read through it, give some opinions on it. And that's going to be today's video. Talk about kind of where they're probably going to be heading the game for this, because it's kind of crazy that they're doing what they're planning to do. Um, at least I think so. But, as always, remember, if you end up liking this video, make sure to leave a like, comment about how you feel about this version update, and let's go. And subscribe to me if you haven't already. Boom, there you go. Let's go! Um, version 1.21 will be available for download around 9pm on June 23rd, 2020. You may install it when it becomes available, otherwise an automatic update will occur approximately at 8 p.m. June 24, 2020. When you update the version 1.20, yeah, you got it. That's the basic stuff. To celebrate the update, we'll be sending a tenfold summon ticket. Thank you. Um, all right. Update details, increased team slots. We will add groups of teams that you can switch between. The number of teams in a single group will be reduced from nine to six. There will be nine groups of teams in total. With this change, you will now be able to build a total of 54 teams. Note, in regard to team built before version 1.21, teams in uh, slots one through six will become the first group of teams and the, the remaining three teams, seven through nine, will be registered to the second group of teams. Additionally, you will be able to register a name for each team. Other players will be unable to see your team names. Smart, I guess. Um, additionally, display options for Dragon Roost. Uh, additionally, display option for the Dragon Roost. All right, so let's talk about this because that's kind of something completely different. This one's pretty simple. It's been needed. The reason, if uh, if you're new to Galia, why is it so important to have so many team slots? The reason is is that sometimes you want to play uh, co-op. And there's a specific co-op team where the co-op boost that you get from the unit, the um, co-ability and the co-op, I forget what the second one is called real quick. I forgot what it's called. I don't remember. But anyway, there's two sets of ones. With the, the, a lot of specific units have very specific units that they want to be put with in order to maximize their the great the greatest that they can do problem is is that when you're playing solo stuff you don't necessarily want to run that team because it's usually not the best units in the world you're running units that are specifically there only to buff this one specific unit to their maximum potential um so when you're playing by yourself you don't really want a team like that but there's not a lot of team slots to kind of do what you want and also in general i feel like it kind of slows down creativity um I think it's a good idea to have more teams where you can kind of build up stuff and have more fun with it. So this is obviously good. Hopefully it's enough. We'll see. Uh, additional display option for the Dragon Roost. You will be able to switch to a 2D version of the Dragon Roost for the system tab under options in the menu. Sure. I liked it the way it was, but I like being able to have 3D for various reasons that I won't explain. Um... Obtain three adventurers when starting the game. Note, this feature will be applied starting 11 p.m. June 28th, 2020. When starting the game from the beginning, players will automatically receive three adventurers during the tutorial. Additionally, team's compromise of three adventurers will be set as a default when building teams. Um, along with the above changes, players who complete the applicable tutorial before 11 p.m. June 28th, 2020 will receive the eligible three adventurers as a gift. Players who have already obtained the eligible three adventurers will instead receive 150 Elderwater per three adventurer. Finally, the three adventurers who can be obtained when starting the game will no longer appear in future summon showcases starting 11 p.m. on June 28th, 2020. The three adventurers you will no longer appear in summon showcases are as follows Oi, Joe, Urin, Zardin, Jurata, Walkie, Ricardit, Melody, Francesca, Nicholas, Safi, Efren, Linus, Malka, Hope, Vita, Eric, Zace, and Althema. Um, Alright, so I think, at least for the gotchas I play, I think this is the first time anyone's specifically removed adventurers from the gotcha. 
I mean, we've already seen um, Dragalia change its summon in the past. They removed Worm Prince from the gacha. If you did not play um, Dragalia back in the old days, back when you summoned, um, you had a chance of getting five Worm Prince, and those had not five, five, four, and three Worm Prince were in the banners, and it completely diluted the banner, and it made summoning on it really bad. Um, this change right here, now there's less three adventures. There's still some three adventures in there, and there's also, of course, three dragons, so it's not like all of a sudden you don't have threes anymore, but it's a significant ca uh, cut down of what these are potentially going to be. I'm very interested to see how summoning is going to be post this. I would imagine it would get only slightly better, just because the actual main problem here is that now you'd get way more four adventures, I assume. Um, or maybe you'll just get the same amount of three adventures. It'll just be all the same three adventures. <laughs> but still, I like the move of actually removing units from uh, banners. I think that's very smart, and I wish they would start doing that with fours next. And the idea of also just making them available for tutorial is good because that means it's like at that point they're at recognizing like, hey, literally anyone can get three adventures if you somehow start after this point. Then we'll just give them to you for tutorial, but. Um, I like that. I like that idea. And I would, I would gladly see them get rid of some four adventurers and then maybe eventually, this is crazy, maybe get rid of eventually five adventurers, but also three dragons. And I would love it if they actually got rid of all the three dragons. They're so useless. I also wouldn't mind if they removed all the four dragons because honestly the four dragons aren't that useful anymore. So except for, there's a, there's a few that are actually very useful. I take that back. Um, it's interesting. I like this idea that them doing it because it really kind of changes up. Uh, it shows that they're willing to kind of change things in the banner. Uh, obviously, I still think that this doesn't s solve the fact that their pity system needs reworking and it needs to be better because pity too often. See my last summon video that should that really shows that um, why the pity system needs to change. Just because like you get one bad luck, you get one unlucky streak. And the game and Dragali just screw, straight up screws you over in the worst way possible. Non-stop dragons and dragons you can't really use because they're all five dragons, but unless you got Galamars or something. But in, at least in my case, for how long I've been playing the game, a lot of the five dragons I just don't need anymore. Um, I like this. I like this. I like this because it means that it could potentially open them up to removing other adventurers eventually down the line. And in general, I would love it. Um, for example, if Dokkan. Uh, a completely different gotcha from this. If they did something like this, I would praise the hell out of them. Just because the idea of just straight up removing... Here's the low down dirty secret about all gotchas. Um, even good three adventurers are only there to prevent you from getting one, four units, and two, five units, especially. Um, that's always been kind of their purpose, even if they're really good, like the ones in Fake Grand Order, or some of the ones in specifically Dragalia. There's a couple threes in, out in here that are uh, fantastic units once you mana spiral them and everything, and also have fantastic, um, I forget the name of it, let me quickly check what the hell this thing is called. Um, chain co-op ability, there you go. Shout out to anyone correcting castle. me, There's not realizing that I eventually do get the name right. Um, let's see. So yeah, I like this move. I'm interested to see them do more. There, there needs. This is not enough, by the way. I do think that they need to make some more banner changes. But maybe I'll see how summoning is on the 28th. Maybe there'll be a brand new gala banner, and we'll see how that is. Um, even though gala banner is a bad test case for that kind of stuff. But anyway, let's move on to the the next feature. New feature for deleting quests and story data. From system tab under options in the menu, you will be able to delete quests and story data from all cleared quests in the game campaign, or simply delete all quests and story data. By deleting quests and story data, you can reduce how much storage your Galea Lost uses. But if you play a quest or story again after deleting data, you will need to be redownloaded the data. Note, deleting quest or story data will not change your clear status for the quest or the completion status for endeavors. Some quests and story data cannot be deleted. After deleting quests and story data, you will be returned to the home screen. Uh, that's good, because Dragalia is stupid big. It's a stupid big file size, so I'll definitely do that uh, when I get the option. Uh, increased capacity for weapons, worm prints, and dragons? Thank the lord. I was running out of space. Uh, 100 weapon, 100 worm print, and 50 dragon. Good. 
Note, for players who have already started playing the game, each capacity will be increased as described above, regardless of how their capacity has already been expanded. Nice. Other changes, reduction to the space required for 2D data. As part of the effort to reduce space requirements, we will change the compression format for some 2D data. Due to this, the appearance of certain images may change in some places. With this change, a large data download will occur on the title screen for the first time you start the game after updating to version 1.2 winning on. Gotcha. We will add an option for the data download sele uh, selection when starting the game. You will only download the bare minimum amount of data required to clear main campaign chapter 1-1. If data will be deleted during data update, the amount of data to be deleted will be displayed in the data download pop-up. When a new summon showcase starts, the first encounters will the f when a summon when a new summon showcase starts, the first encounters for certain new adventures will automatically play. What does that mean? What is it? If you know what that means, please tell me, because I'm not 100 percent sure what that means. Is that the little trailer thing that plays? Uh, I don't know. Um. Starting around 11 p.m. on June 23rd, 2020, expert difficulty will be available at all times for all elemental rules. Thank you. Starting around 11 p.m. 23rd, the maximum level for Jekyllof facilities will increase to level 30. Sure. We will change the name from the Recovery Potency X buff to Recovery X Plus. Along with changes the skill description text for some adventures, the weapons will be adjusted. This change will only affect the, the notion. The effect itself will not change. Oh, so they're just changing it. We will adjust some UI on some screens. Balance adjustments. We will remove the first part of certain quests and chapters 1 through 13 out of the main. Thank you. We will not after the quest stories for uh, hard and very hard. We have adjusted the timing in which the adventurer Urius ends his dragon drive when participating in battles as an AI adventurer. Okay. I've, yeah, he definitely has that issue where um, he ends it very soon, I think. As part of an issue that has been addressed, the following balance adjustments has been made to Volk's Wrath. When a helper skill is used at the same time that Volk uses Ravenous Claws, while in human form, the controlled adventurer will now be selected as a target for Ravenous Claws as intended. Um, and some other stuff will be fixed. So yeah, that's the update. I'm looking forward to it. It sounds like a really good update. Um, there has not been a lot. A lot of people have been very soured on. I've seen it in the comments, especially. A lot of people were not a fan of... No, not, not you girls. You girls were we're okay you're fine you're fine um the united front a lot of people were expecting a lot out of this i personally wasn't really because it felt like that just is already the thing we kind of do for one event just spun off to its own thing this event could have been way better the grind is awful the gameplay is kind of boring uh i've never seen it because it's just on auto and i let it play in the background I really don't need to pay attention. I have no real interest in actually playing it legit myself. Um, it could be better. It could 100% be better. So a lot of people are kind of soured on the game because of that. This doesn't 100% replace a lot of that, but it's a step in a, in a nice direction at least. Um, Jugalia definitely. Again, and I feel like I don't really want to bag on the game too much just because, you know, the ongoing problems with the world. Uh what with the virus and stuff, has definitely slowed them down. They've even admitted in past interviews that they did not have enough time to finish the Fire Emblem event um, to keep it on schedule. So this is kind of the things we have, and this is just kind of the way that things are going to be for a while until the world can return to normal. When that happens, I don't know. Uh, I don't blame anyone for leaving if they can't handle it. It's perfectly fine. And there's also some people that just want to stop playing because they don't like the direction scheme going. That's fine, too. Um, I have no problem, though. I'm perfectly fine, as long as they keep giving me the units I want, of course. And that's the end of today's video, everyone. I hope you liked it. Remember to leave a like if you ended up liking it. Comment about how you feel about the updates, how you currently feel about Dragalia. I'll accept those as well. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Have a good day. Bye.